All right, so I got back from Mexico last weekend. And when I got back for the first two days, I felt pretty solid. You know, kind of riding a high after getting back from, you know, sun and the fun and, and all that. Spent my birthday down there. And then I got hit with the flu here in Oklahoma. And I don't know what it is. You can probably still hear from my stuffed up voice here, <laughs> nose and stuff. For about three days, literally, I was in bed. I'd stand up and get woozy. Should have gone to the doctor. But yesterday, Saturday, really started feeling a lot better. Uh, little DIY home remedies, supplements, rest, water, you name it. Uh, to combat, you know, the stuff going on inside you. And I, mean, I tell you, I don't know what it is. I, my luck this year, I've always been proud to say that you know, I don't get sick, you know. I was pumped full of freaking chemicals while I was on active duty and, you know, I'm pretty immune to everything, but pfft, this year, not a chance. I got hit twice. Uh, but thankfully, I'm getting over it. And this morning, I've been piddle dinking with uh, this little power box right down here. I got it all spruced up, rocking and rolling. I got some ideas for these two guys but I'll leave that for later. But what I wanted to show you all is that I took out the uh, VMAX Tank SLA 12 volt AGM deep cycle battery and put a Mighty Max Lithium Iron Phosphate battery in, in here. Uh, 10 amp hour, so 120 watt hours ish. And I can tell you just, the weight difference I know the scale won't even register because it won't even turn on but it's about five and a half pounds here and this battery alone weighs about shit probably about seven or eight pounds so this thing is rock and roll let me show you got the solid lights there and I got the wig waggies there I put new uh, wire lanyards this is a 12 volt no kidding cigarette lighter socket and this is a no kidding 12 volt power socket two different animals surprises me how many people screw that up when they're talking on youtube videos this can be used as a 12 volt power socket if needed but i got a cigarette lighter in here and i'll show you that it works anyway long story short ripped it all open Put the mighty max blue in there you know, I looked online, you can't get the Mighty Max lithium batteries anymore. So my suggestion is go to the Dakota, Dakota, Dakota Lithium website and order directly from Dakota Lithium. The guys in Seattle, Washington that make the Dakota Lithium batteries know what the hell they're doing. That's what I use in all these Jerry's. Well, one of them doesn't have, one of, one of them actually has the Mighty Max in it. But um, I think they're a, a better battery. I don't know why. Uh, Mighty Max stopped making their lithium, but Expert Power is now making them. But Dakota, seems like Dakota Lithium has a better BMS in there. But here's here's my work right here. Where the hell did my lighter go? Let's turn the lighter here. Here's the lighter right here. So let's just plug this in. I'll show you. It works good, last long time. There like that. Turn the lights on. I got some copyright free music going on while we're enjoying the lighter heating up. Boop. See, there you go. You light your favorite smoky treat with that. Here's the wig wagger right here that go into this mode here and it activates this circuit and turns on emergency flashers. Single, single fuse for everything. Got a little bus bar right here for all the DC color-coded wires because I'm anal like that. Lock that right here. And I did add a 5.5, 2.1 DC power jack here to charge up that lithium battery. And I kept the SAE 2-pin here just because I didn't want to take it out. But this thing's nice and light. You can take it, throw it in your car or truck, you know, inform others behind you that you got a, a hazard ahead of you. And if you want to be like a fake cop, you can put blue and red in there and be a fake cop if you want to be. No, don't do that. 
a uh, little vent port right here. But I really, really, really like the addition of a lanyard here. Because these things broke off. And I just, when you're done with the, the actual lighter, just throw it in here. Charge your phone up. This is a quick charge charging port right here. You can turn that off, turn that on. Save on the battery. Yeah, could be schmackety. There you have it. <coughs> oh, yeah, got the uh, access to 12 volt power if you just want to run a straight wire in. Use a solar panel to charge it up that has a little mini controller on it so you don't overcharge the battery. What's great with these batteries, these lithium batteries, is that they're smart. SLA, they don't have a BMS, whereas the lithium batteries have a BMS, a battery management system, so you can't overcharge, you can't, you know, overcurrent, it's all protected. So, there you have it. Alright guys, hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy, not getting sick like me. I don't know what it is this year, but uh, don't get the flu. Wash your hands, do all the things that they say to do. Google search on how to combat the flu. That's what I did. Taking vitamin D, garlic, eucanea, that herbal stuff. Everything I can to combat this. And I think I'm winning it. But it takes time to get over the flu. All right. See you next time. Have a good one.